the court made an explicit finding that solitary confinement doesn't work. It doesn't achieve the aims that the government claims for it, that it makes the prison, they need it to make the prison safer, that it has to be a part of the system. The court rejects that. The court says that this makes people more dangerous. It makes, it makes the prisons less safe. It makes it harder for people to rehabilitate themselves so that they can reintegrate uh, with society when they leave. And so to the person on the street who says, uh, why is this important to me? What happens deep inside some prison? Well, it matters because the point of the prison is, in the end, not only to punish, but to rehabilitate folks so that when they come back to our communities, they can play a productive role. And this cuts directly against that goal. And that's what the court found today. The UN has said, uh, Special Convention on Torture, said you can't go beyond 15 days. As soon as you go beyond 15 days, that's going to qualify as torture. Uh, to the UN and they've given a directive to Canada to not actually have anyone in solitary confinement more than 15 days. So the 15 day marker is really about when those mental health consequences become particularly acute and severe and so that's just basically the dividing line that has, has, has a lot of international you know, support and so that's kind of the, the dividing line that we've set in the case. It's very common in, in cases where the court will strike down an entire regime uh, that they don't want to do that and just leave a hole. They want to give Parliament an opportunity to legislate constitutionally to fill that gap. And so basically the, the, the Declaration of Invalidity is just completely suspended, doesn't have an impact until a year from now, and Parliament will have that full year to draft legislation that comports with the minimum constitutional requirements outlined by the judge in the decision. And it really will be for all Canadians to hold our government accountable uh, to what we want this regime to look like.